The Riverside iPhone app just got a huge update, including the ability to edit and export video directly from your phone. Now the Riverside app not only lets you record in high quality 4K video directly from your mobile device, but you can preview that recording and trim and export clips all from your mobile device, save those locally, and now you can have the entire process from recording, editing, to publishing your content all right here on iPhone. Let's check it out. Now when you open the Riverside app, you'll see all your previous recordings from your studios right here. To see the full list of studios, just tap the upper left corner and you'll see multiple studios there. You can click the three dots next to any studio name, and then you can get the guest and audience links here, share the studio recordings to maybe an editor or producer, and you have access to a few studio settings, like the language and whether this is audio and video or audio only. Also, when you choose to invite someone to the studio, you get this nice layout here, easy access to both the guest, audience, and producer links if you want someone to join the recording just to take care of the technical aspects. You can even create a new studio right here from the mobile device and start recording right away. Once you tap into one of your studios, you can still access that guest, audience, and producer link by clicking the three dots and tapping invite to studio, and you can still share your recordings here and change studio settings. Now here you'll see your list of past recordings, and if you wanna share one, just tap the share button next to it, it'll bring up the share sheet. And now this can send a link to anyone, and they'll be able to download those files of that recording with this link that you sent, all right here from the mobile device. If you wanna record new content, like a video podcast or interview, just tap the record button here in the bottom right. Allow access to the camera and microphone on your device, and you're almost ready to record. You get some nice reminders here about battery life and finding a nice space, just tap I'm ready. Rotate your device to landscape mode. You might need to unlock orientation for that. And now that I'm in landscape mode, I can swap to the back camera using the swap button here. And we have new video effects. Tap the magic wand in this corner and you can add a virtual background if you'd like and even blur the background, either a little or a lot. You also have exposure and color temperature controls right here on the mobile device. If someone's in a dimly lit environment, they can turn that up or increase or decrease the warmth. And when you're ready to record, just tap the join button. You can still invite people using the guest link using this button here. You can turn off your camera, microphone. You can access the chat here from the Riverside mobile app and tap the three dots. If you're using this mobile device or an iPad, that's kind of a secondary camera, but you still wanna record audio, you can mute the speaker on the device. This way we won't get any kind of echo in the recording. You can also see everyone who's in the studio currently by clicking the people. And then when you're ready to record, just tap record. And just to give you an idea, this is recorded directly in my iPhone using the front facing camera. You get even higher quality if you use the back camera with a virtual background that's also being blurred. All right here in the Riverside app and it's recording in high quality video and audio because it's recording locally even to my mobile device and then uploading those files to your Riverside account. Now let's jump in and see what the recordings look like when we're done. Once you stop the recording, you'll see everyone's files uploaded. Just wait till that gets to 100% and then you'll be ready to access the recordings. All right, we're all set and I'll hit the end call button and end it for everyone. And once it's uploaded, you'll see that recording we just made right here at the top of the list. I can tap the share button and send this to someone to download and edit further, or I can jump in and preview the recording we just did. And this page is brand new. Now on the mobile device, you can actually view the entire transcript of the recording right here. Review what was said or what was recorded. And if you'd like, you can even preview that video right here. And now I'm watching the recording I just made all right here on my mobile device, and I can still share it to someone using that share button at the top, and I can rename the recording here. All right, I renamed that to the iPhone app, and then underneath that transcript, you'll see a new button, Create New Edit. I've jumped over to a previous recording, and you'll see this actually changes previews of the recording here up at the top, which is pretty cool. And underneath that, you'll see all the edits that you have made on the desktop. If you've generated magic clips, you'll see those down here as well. You can choose the video quality up to 4K, remove background noise, normalize audio, and then export that video file right here. But let's jump in and find a new clip from our full recording. I'll tap Create New Edit, and now you'll enter the new mobile editor. Here you'll see a preview of the video up top and then the entire transcript of the recording underneath, still with those color-coded name labels and timestamps like you're accustomed to on the desktop. I can expand the transcript and now I can see the recording and easily read the whole thing. Now, let's say I wanna trim it, set an in and out point for this recording. I can tap the new trim tool and then I can tap and hold either on the in and out point and start dragging that back and forth. And as you can see, the transcript will highlight or unhighlight the sections that I'm cutting out using the in and out points. I can also change the format of the video just by clicking this button here and go to a vertical nine by 16, regular widescreen or a one by one square. Now let's say I just wanna pull a 30 or 60 second clip. I can scroll to a point in the transcript, tap some text to actually highlight it. And then you'll see multiple options down here in the toolbar. 
different lengths for different social media platforms. I'll tap 30 seconds for an Instagram reel here, and it'll create a 30 second clip from the part of the transcript that I was looking at. I'll create a new edit and then choose a 60 second clip like for YouTube Shorts. And now I have a 60 second block and I can actually scrub along that timeline for the 60 seconds and get the perfect clip. This way I know it'll fit perfectly in a YouTube Short. If I want to adjust it a little more manually, I can go back to the free trim tool and then drag those in and out points exactly where I want it. Then when you're ready to save this clip to your phone, just tap the share button in the top right corner, choose your video quality, remove background noise or normalize audio, and then export video. Depending how long the clip is, it'll take a few seconds to export, but we can go back to our recordings and you'll see the clip that we just exported right here. And once it's done exporting, you can save that video file directly to your device and then share it on whatever social media platform you'd like. And that's the new Riverside mobile app with editing, and we have even more features coming very soon. So subscribe to the channel, we'll be covering them right here. And if you have questions about the Riverside iPhone app or anything Riverside, leave comments below this video, I answer those personally. And if you wanna learn more about podcasting from iPad using USB mics and doing the entire process from there, you can check out this video right here where I go through audio interfaces, USB mics and iPad and more. And if you wanna learn about why it's important to get your video podcast on YouTube for discoverability, you can check out my video right up here. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.